Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. So stop focusing on the money. This is something that a lot of traders make the mistake of doing. Then investors as well, they're focusing on the money and there are some reasons why this is a bad idea. Okay, first reason is the need for quick wins. So you're focused on it because you need a quick win. You're like, okay, I've got to make some money, I've got to make some money. And so you look at the market, you take the trade and what happens is you end up taking a trade that you shouldn't have. You're so focused focused on the need for an amount of money, a win, a profitable trade, that what you're doing is your focus is on the quickest win possible rather than waiting for the right trade. You know, I know, we all know, all the subscribers know, all the viewers know this, that it's about waiting for that perfect opportunity or not necessarily perfect opportunity, the opportunity that's aligned with your trading strategy. And the trouble is when you need a quick win, do you know what you will do? You will take every little thing, you'll grab at it, you'll grab at it because you need it quickly. You can't got the patience to wait for the right setup. And so you'll take quick trades and inevitably there'll be poor trades and what will happen, completely opposite to what you want, you'll end up losing money. All right, next thing that people do is they have a desire for a specific amount of money. This is super, super deadly. A story from a guy in the pit and there's a couple of stories and I'm not sure which one's true, which one's not, but the ultimate theme is the same. And actually, you know what? There is a story that I've read in Luis Borsellino's book, which is from Pit to PC. So I'm assuming that one's true. I've heard some similar ones as well. But anyway, the story is this. A guy goes into the pit and he's like, okay, I want to make 20,000 today. He goes in, he's at 18,000. He, he kind of closes a trade. He thinks, I need to make 20,000. Goes back into the pit tries to make more trades, forces it, forces it, forces it. What happens? He ends up losing all the money he's made and another 10 grand. So for the extra two grand, just because he wanted to make a specific amount of money, then this is a problem and you don't want to be in that situation. The market doesn't care. You're focusing on the wrong thing. You're focusing on the money. And if seasoned guys like that are doing it and struggling, we will struggle as well. So number three, watching each price tick as the trade works. This is horrible. The broker account is set up for this. As the price goes in your favor, you see that incremental money going up, 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 and you start to think, yeah, yeah, great, it's really, really good. And then it comes down, if, oh no, no, and it goes up. And what you end up doing is you end up snatching it because you're looking at the monetary amount. You're looking at the amount that it's going up and saying, hey, that's a decent amount of money, I want that, close it. In reality, the trade could just be getting going. It's not even it's not even started properly yet, and you're already closing it out. You're not waiting for the actual signal to exit. You're using the money amount, the monetary amount, as an exit signal, which is no exit signal at all. It's no strategy. It's not defined. There's nothing good about doing that at all. So that is something to eliminate if that's you, and vice versa which is a different kind of emotion, watching each price tick as the trade goes against you. The fear, you're like, ah, panicking, it's going against me, I don't like it. But then what happens is it goes against you, you think, oh, it's horrible, then it comes back up a little bit, and you think, oh, that's a bit better, and then it goes down a little further, and you think, oh, it's horrible, and it comes back a little bit, and you end up closing it because you don't want to lose the amount, but you should have already predefined a stop, so you should have already accepted the risk of X, so you don't need to be watching every little tick, because all it does is it adds emotion to every single tick, and if the market is ticking every second, you've got an emotional swing every second. How long is the trade going to be? Even if it's five minutes long, that's a long, a lot of emotional swings that you've got to deal with. So both of those take off your PL, take off your blotter, take off anything that displays rolling current PL in the trade or even account balance. Get rid of it. You don't need it. You should have your stop in place. That's it. You've accepted the risk. Get on with it. Don't look at each what's happening because it won't allow you to run the trades that are working and it's going to meddle with your emotions for trades that are not working. All right, what have we got next for you? The last one, guys, is revenge trading to recoup losses. If you're thinking in terms of X amount of pounds, then the problem is when you come back to trade, you will think, hey, I've got to make X amount of pounds back. I'm revenge trading because you won't say to yourself revenge trading, you won't acknowledge it, but you're thinking, oh, I just want to get that 300 back that I lost, that four grand that I lost, whatever it may be. 
be. And then again, you're focusing on a specific amount. You're focusing on the quick win. You want to get it back quickly because you want to get you back to where you were. There's a specific amount you need to get back to where you were. You're in a completely the wrong mindset to trade. What should you be focusing on? You should be focusing on the process, the process of doing the right thing, your strategies, your self-analysis, your discipline, your execution, your control, your review, all the things that you can actually control. You can't control the outcome of each individual trade. So when you're focusing on it, not only does it affect you negatively emotionally, you can't do anything about it anyway. So you're focusing on something you can't control. The best thing you can do is focus on being the best trader you can be. If you align yourself with that and you're always thinking about that, then you should always do the right thing for the long-term benefit of you as a trader and your account, which means you won't be looking at every single tick going for you. You won't be looking at every single tick going against you. You hopefully won't be trying for the quick wins. You'll just be sticking to your strategy and executing it flawlessly. Okay, guys, comments in the comment section below. Appreciate your support if you have subscribed. If not, consider doing so here. Otherwise, see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.